guardado, que nos tem guardado. Aleluia. He has delivered us and protected us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. It's a great joy that I greet the present, the church present, and the ones also who are following us through the media with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite the church to open in Psalms 42. Psalms 42. Psalm 42. As the, the deer pants for the water, water broke, so pants my soul for you, O oh, oh God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Lord, we ask you that you may speak with us through your word that we have just read. Lord, visit our hearts with great depth, and that we may be able to reach your, your purpose for the night, and that your word may feed us and do good things to our heart. We ask you pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. We are here tonight reading a passage from the word of the Lord that was written between the children of Korah, Korah, depending on the version, Korah. And this family was a family that was, was known to know the consequences of a rebellion, rebellion or a revolt because their parents, their predecessors, they had revolted and they weren't against the will of the Lord the Bible says that the, the earth opened up and swallowed them. And blessed be the name of the Lord. The children heard this story from generation to generation, and they didn't follow the path of their parents, because the path of their parents would lead to perdition. But on the contrary, they follow in the direction of the light, on the direction of the revelation, the direction that would bring life to their lives. And their gratitude for being alive, having had, uh, having their predecessors having done something so displeasing that, to the point that they have been consumed, as we just sang, the the mercy of the Lord is the reason why we are not destroyed. And they were so grateful, and uh, that they had the opportunity to do something different from their parents. This expression we hear and uh, are written in Psalms are expressions that it's better to be one day at your door, Lord, than to be in any other place. See the gratitude. And we, amongst us, during the prophetic service, we use this expression, expression with great humbleness and seriousness. We express this. Here we are. We are here to be used by the Lord, have instrumentality, and to be at the door or playing an instrument, to translate, to operate a sound table. It doesn't matter. What we want is to be in God's presence, because in God's presence there is security. In the presence of the Lord there is life. In the presence of the Lord there is guarantee that we will be preserved. And now we see here this expression as as a deer that pants for the water. So he desires greatly for the period of the drought to uh, pass and uh, the rivers to be filled again so that they may enter. Because when they enter, biologically speaking, they wash their paws, they refresh themselves from their walks for their survival and they quench their thirst from their race and they are protected because they're an essence which is natural from the body of the animal through their sweat it is exactly what calls the predator 
That's what attracts the predator. So when the psalmist here writes this, he is speaking, he's saying that in the same way that this animal desires so much for the moment in which the water uh, begin to flow and they will have a place to go. In the same way we are in the presence of the Lord, we desire more than anything for the river. And the Psalms mention later on 46, if you have the Bible open, as a river whose uh, 46 for the seat of God, a sanctuary, a dwelling of the Most High, and those are the waters. Prophetically, when they wrote 42, they were speaking prophetically of the waters that flow from the throne of the Lord, which is the Holy Spirit of God in our lives. And this Spirit that brought us here today, and we came here very calmly. There was no doubt that this place was going to be the, the best place for us to be, because the Lord would be here too, and He is here. He has received us and prepared for us a banquet. In the prophetic service, the Lord was already speaking with us that He wanted to clarify to us regarding the security that they only exist in Him. And this security, we can even open up a, a parenthesis here and speak about a, about a period of almost two years in which the world is uh, desperate. And uh, But the faithful church of the Lord knows where He came from, where they are, uh, where they are going. Even the, the ones who have been taken away Today they are with the Lord and the families has been have been comforted. That's what it is to be in the presence of the Lord. Is the is the good that this water does to us, my brethren? We're going to bring here four aspects. There are practically the explanation of the gospel for our lives. Every time that you, the brethren see number four in the Bible, it is prophetically making mention to the power and the complexity and how the gospel is complete in the four corners of the earth. Many times I want to shout to the four winds and the gospel comes exactly to cover all these points of the possibilities so that you and I would be saved. And the gospel, the main role, role of the gospel is salvation of man. And that's why the Spirit in Jesus was amongst us as men. He allowed to be written four times. Many times the facts are repeated four times so that we would have no doubt that He is love. Like the song that we just sang, He is the love of God. Jesus is the greatest expression of love. And the, pers the first item that I mentioned here was purification. The animal comes walking in their daily lives and they enter into the river and the waters. And the first thing that happens is the washing their feet. At pause, speaking about the pleading for the blood of Jesus and the purification that we can only find through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus. How many times throughout our days and our race trying to pay our bills and comes a temptation and sometimes we allow ourselves to fall into temptation but as soon as we come into the presence of the Lord, we confess our sins, and we are washed, and we are purified, and we have fellowship to enter into His presence. The race for our daily lives, our daily lives also causes us to be thirsty, and is quenching the thirst. Our, our thirsts are as human beings, are fragile beings, vulnerable. When we enter into the presence of the Lord, our the soul is satisfied what nothing else can quench no activity no entertainment nothing but in him we are able to quench this thirst and we quench the thirst and we are reinvigorated we great encouraged greatly encouraged to continue this walk the gospel so a blessing from god that comes with the presence of the holy spirit uh, at the heat uh, our day maybe we had a problem at work or at home or in the traffic because uh, a trial in our lives and we got heated up and now when we enter into the presence of the Lord comes a refreshing like a, a spring rain that comes upon our heads and brings the le levity to know that nothing is not everything is Lord the, the shepherd was with, uh, with us blessed be the name of the Lord and the last detail one of the most important, if not the greatest, the most important, is the prote protection. Because if there was 
we didn't have the current of waters, the vulnerability of the deer, would, were, they were going to be much greater because the essence from the body of the animal attracts the, pet the predators. In the same way as when we have this meeting with the Lord, we understand that salvation is the greatest path. Our lives change the way we think and we, the way we speak and we exhale this smell that is called the, the New Testament of the new smell of Christ, the great smell of Christ. And the enemy tried to identify us, he's unable. The enemy tried to, to devour us, but greater and more, more powerful is the one who is, who is with us. More powerful is the one who is the river of pro, the living waters that is in our midst in that water. For as long as the animal is in those waters, he, the animal will be safe because it is the circ circumstance where the essence of the animal is not going to come to the nose of the predator, the enemy. The Bible says the enemy is surrounding us like a, like a lion. He's not a lion. The lion is the Lord Jesus, the tribe of Judah. But the enemy tried to imitate it, to try to devour us, to betray us. But if we are in the presence of the Lord, if the Holy Spirit is flowing in us, and whatever we are, if, if the Lord calls and we say, here I am, we have the good smell of Christ, and the smell will be only to testify, to evangelize, and to say that it's good to be in the presence of the Lord. Good is to serve the Lord. This tranquility, this security that we find that is mentioned in the psalm, it brings to us even a notion of intelligence. Salvation is an act of intelligence. Who doesn't want to be pure, purified, and refreshed with their thirst quenched and protected? I want, I'm the first to raise my hand. Accepting Jesus, the only sufficient Savior, you are guaranteed that you'll be always washed in the blood of the Lamb and the thirst of your soul that no psychiatrist, psychiatrist will ever resolve. It is quenched in the presence of the Lord. Refreshing when the trials get tougher, when things may look like there's no solution. You'll hear the Lord say, I am with you. My hand is upon you. You never lacked anything and will never lack anything. I am your God and your shepherd. And verse 2 says, My soul thirsts for God. The expression thirsting for God is the desire, is the option that you and I have. We may, I may save the Lord or I may go to the world and taste of the pleasures of this life. But knowing that in the presence of the Lord, we find life. See the expression, my soul thirsts for God, comma, for the living God. He is alive and he gives to you and I this life. What life is this? Eternal life, life in abundance is victory on this earth and the guarantee that we are going to enter into eternity to live eternally with the Lord. There is a prophetic uh, fact here in the uh, second part of this verse. When shall I come and appear before God? The children of Korah, they were like this in my time when I was a teenager. People would say, oh, he, he, there is an opportunity appeared that he wanted to sing or play an instrument of his service when we were children. And the same way are the children of Korah. They, they had the thirst to, be in, to serve the Lord. And knowing that when you serve the Lord, all the benefits, like being obedient, being under the hands of the Lord, Serving a God that protects us is a cloud during the day and a column of fire at night and the Red Sea opened up, walking through with dry feet is the guarantee of life. Who doesn't want this? This thirst is an expression that we want to serve the Lord with all our desire, with all our heart. It demonstrates exactly, prophetically, our desire of inheriting eternity. And here in the psalm, the children of Korah, they said that the most important moment was the moment of being in the house of the Lord. And David knew this very well. I rejoice when they told me, let's go to the house of the Lord. Let's go in haste. It's the moment of service, the service of the early dawn and the youth meeting. Don't miss any, anything. And they wanted to be in the house of the Lord. When, I will, enter, when will I enter and be before the Lord. They wanted to be in the temple. Their, their Hebrew expression, Shekinah, where the glory of God was present. 
where this presence of the Lord with health and healing yeah, open up a uh, uh, door open for a job and good relationship and good relation between parents and children is the glory of God to be in presence in the presence of the Lord that's why uh, in the same way with us we want desire to be face to face with the Lord and seeing the fulfillment of this word which it says Maranatha the name of our church is not Maranatha just some because we like the the construction of this word no because it is prophetic because it means the Lord will return and he will return to rescue us he will return to take out the need oh, that we have uh, quench our thirst and uh, protect us from the predator when we are there there will be no fear or pain because we are going to be face to face with our God we are not there come Lord Jesus my brethren, what the Lord has done in our midst is scary. That's what the expression, the biblical expression says. It's a terrible. It's a God much more terrible than the false gods. But it's a God that uh, terrible because we are amazed how many things God has done in, in Pompano, in South Florida, in the United States, in Russia, in Ukraine, where many are scared but there's a people there seeking the face of the Lord that know, know the sound of praising the Lord and they know that in the river of, of living waters there is security. Imagine, my brethren, over the face of the entire earth, there's a people that know the importance of the presence of the Holy Spirit because one day we're going to be with Him in the glory. Today we had yet another meeting, a youth meeting, and the ones who had the opportunity to follow at every seminar we cannot express to the Lord how thankful we are because our youth is being uh, they are being preserved they are learning to love you and to dive into the river of fresh wa living waters and how wonderful the testimony of the youth my brethren if you missed it is recorded that is on YouTube go back and watch it again yeah, watch it because you receive a blessing I guarantee you was uh, power and uh, fire of the Holy Spirit the teaching, the doctrine the word that the youth is giving there was a group of four and five people that had traveled five hours to be there and their testimony and their description was that it was worth it it's worth to serve the Lord and soon we're going to be with him to adore him forever to adore his name and to praise him in his presence face to face like it is mentioned here in the psalm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's sing a song to the Lord. Soon after, we're going to share the spiritual gift the Lord gave to the comfort, to security, to our protection. The spiritual gift the Lord gave as we were praying for the service. We, the, the spiritual gift said that we should not doubt that, that in Him we are safe during the prophetic service. There was a vision in which there was a group of sheep that were comfortably eating the grass and serene, and they, they came a thunder, and the, the sound of this thunder stressed them out. 
and the shepherd noticed this even from afar. And that they stressed up with the noise of the thunder. And the shepherd began to call them by name. Hey, you. And by calling them by name, the, the sound of the voice that he used brought calm to each one of them. But when they heard the, the, their names, they went to the shelter, to the corral where they were supposed to be. And they were there in act of submission, independence, and confidence, and trust, and to know that the one that can provide for me now is the shepherd. And they were all together. The expression that the shepherd would use with them was, here with me, you are safe. And that's what the Lord wants to say to you and I tonight. You may have heard sound of thunder. You may be going through moments of trial and difficulties. You may have lost a peace. But the Lord is here to say to you that in my presence, there is peace. In my presence, there is security. In my presence, there is salvation. That's the name of the Lord. Go to God. Let's sing the last part of the song. Praising the King of Glory. Glory to God. We're going to have two words of adoration to the Lord. One by a brother and sister here in the church, and another for someone by someone that is connected with us through Zoom. We praise the Lord for your care towards us because the safe shelter you have given us, Lord. Glorify the Lord. Because even though we are not worthy, have reached us, have preserved us, Lord. We know, we have the assurance that one day we'll be with you, Lord. That's why all the glory and all the honor may be given to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you because you have taken care of our lives. You shown us your love because we can recognize your voice because your love is so great. We praise you, Lord, because we are about, Lord, to go up to the eternity, have taken care of us. Lord, we praise the Lord. We glorify for everything because you do not deserve, Lord, such great love, Lord. We praise you because yeah, your return is, is about to happen, Lord, and we praise you because your grace has been enough for us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we glorify you, your name for yet another night in your presence. 
glorify the Lord because of your care, your love, because of your word, Lord, it has always brought comfort to our hearts. Lord, because of your word, Lord, that has always given us the right direction. Because of your word, Lord, that has always given us the advices and the assurance that we are not being deceived. We glorify the Lord for yet another night, another day, Lord, where we are able to receive the care from the Lord. Receive our service. Receive, Lord, our adoration to you, our expression, our gratitude, Lord. Take us home in peace so that we may have a night in your presence. In the prayer that we say, I am really thankful. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. In your name we say the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolation and the gifts of the Holy Spirit may be poured out upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. The church may be seated. Our upcoming service is going to be tomorrow at 10 30 in the morning. It's going to be at Sunday school. The brethren, the one who can, I would like you to come and participate because at the end of every service, we learn more from the mysteries of the Lord. So the brethren who can come here will be together once again, glorifying the Lord. The brethren from Zoom, you can. Open up your microphone and begin. The ones who want a prayer, that need a prayer, the deacons, ushers who are present, they can already manifest their need. And they remain there in the same way. We're here. If you need a prayer, we are here at your disposal and to all the peace of the Lord Jesus.